Hi, it's Shandy from ExpressionFiberArts.com. Welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited today because I'm going to be sharing with you my seven best tips for knitting or crocheting while traveling. went on a trip to see my mom and family in Arkansas and I thought this would be the perfect time to show you these tips. So let's go ahead and get right into it. Tip number one, can you take knitting needles on an airplane? I get asked this so much and the answer is yes, but maybe no. What you want to do is check the TSA guidelines for the particular airline that you're going to be flying on to make sure that knitting needles are allowed. I have flown quite a bit domestically and internationally and have never had a problem. You just want to make sure before you go that knitting needles are allowed on that particular airline you'll be flying on. Do I? Tip number two, use circular needles even if you're knitting flat. If you take straight needles, it's so easy to drop one, to lose one, it could roll to the back of the plane or under a car seat, whatever you're traveling in, and then you're just up a creek without a paddle, so to speak. So definitely use circular needles because you always have them attached to your project and the odds of losing that are much, much, much less than if you have straights. Which leads to part two of this tip, always take a backup pair of needles in the size that you are using. Same for crochet hooks. That way if somehow some crazy thing happens and you lose them, you have a backup pair you can whip out and keep going. Tip number three, bring thinner weight yarns. I recommend lace weight, fingering weight, or sport weight when you're traveling because if space is an issue, you get so much more yardage out of those yarns than say a chunky or a bulky or a worsted weight. Tip number four, stick with simple projects. We all know the frustration of working some complex chart or Estonian lace and messing up and having to tink back or drop down several rows to fix it. It's frustrating, it takes time that you could have spent knitting. So I recommend to leave those types of projects at home for when you can fully concentrate. While you're traveling, stick with simple, easily memorizable patterns. There's lots of distractions, there's people, there's sights, there's new sounds, lots of stuff going on and having extra papers with charts and all that can be really confusing and just one little stitch can mess the whole thing up. So stick with simple projects while traveling. Number five, back up your patterns. Have an alternate form of your pattern available at all times. I got caught one time without cell signal and since I accessed my patterns online, I couldn't get to my pattern and I didn't have it backed up. Durr. You wanna download, screen capture, and or print out your pattern, just some form of an extra pattern on hand at all times so you don't get caught in that situation. You'll thank me later. Number six, keep all of your supplies in one project bag. While traveling, if you have your items, your yarn here and your notions over there and your needles over there, it's gonna be really difficult to access all of that once you get settled in your seat. You just wanna be able to reach, grab, and have everything at your fingertips in one tidy little place. I also recommend that you have some form of project bag that completely closes up, either via zipper or snaps or whatever you have, rather than something that can easily open because you don't want stuff spilling out. Tip number seven, get a small notions bag or a knit kit. You can even make one. Just get a little bag and put the essential notions and tools that you're going to need for any possible project that you may end up making. Things that you might wanna include are a tape measure, those always come in handy, a small 
crochet hook or darning needle for weaving in ends or other little fixes that you might need to make. If you like row counters, make sure to have a row counter. Stitch markers also come in handy. Foldable scissors are some way to cut your yarn and other similar things that you might need while working your project because there's nothing worse than being away from home, getting in the middle of your project and you can't continue because you don't have the tools that you need. Those are my seven tips for knitting and or crocheting while traveling. I hope that at least some of those were new to you and helped you out and that they make your knitting and crocheting travel life that much easier. Now, I wanna hear from you. Please take a minute or two of your time and comment below with your best tip for knitting, crocheting while traveling. Thank you for watching. I appreciate you taking time out of your busy, hectic day to spend a few minutes with me learning more about yarn, knitting, and crocheting. That's what we love, that's what we love to do. So thank you. If you did like this video, please give us a thumbs up. That helps us out so much. And subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell if you don't wanna miss out on future episodes. Now, the best way to stay in touch with me is to head to expressionfiberarts.com and sign up for email updates. I'm gonna let you know when we have big monthly yarn giveaways, new product releases, coupon codes to the yarn shop, free patterns, and a whole lot more. I try to keep it really fun for you, so I hope to see you there. All right, I will catch you in the next episode. You will have a great day, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.